And yes, I am very sure that some people will be disappointed because I didn't get the Sony A95K or the Samsung S95P. But believe me, for my user case, the LG G2 is exactly the right choice. Over the next coming days and weeks, I will do a lot of comparison videos between the LG G2 and my old LG CX, especially when it comes to HDR gaming and of course Dolby Vision gaming. So make sure you stay tuned for this. And of course, I will do a first impression video about the LG G2 and I will try to answer the question if it is a good idea to upgrade from the CX to the G2 because we're still talking about a very expensive TV. So stay tuned for this as well. And now I like to answer the question, why did I buy the LG G2 and not any other brand? So let's start with what I'm using my TVs usually for. Gaming. Gaming is the main content on my channel and also in real life, more or less. I am lately actually, I watch a lot of movies. I have to admit this, but still gaming is the most important thing what I like to do on my channel. So therefore I needed a TV with perfect gaming features and when we're now talking about those features, and we will do this of course, then there is just one TV to buy. LG G2 right now. Of course, all the LG TVs or LG OLED TVs in general are really very, very good gaming TVs. But the LG G2, because of the higher peak brightness compared to the C2, was my first choice. So let's talk a little bit about more gaming details or gaming features like HCIG, Dolby Vision Gaming. And I know what I said about Dolby Vision Gaming, it is that. In my opinion, it is that because there is really just one game what supports Dolby Vision natively on the Xbox series and that's Halo Infinite. But that doesn't mean I don't want to cover this topic anymore on my channel because many, many people are actually very interested in this topic. And you never know, maybe next week or in a month or maybe in a year, there will be a second title which is supporting Dolby Vision natively and therefore I need to be prepared. And the next very important thing is HGHG and there's a reason for this why I like to test HGHG because it's the only way to have the most accurate HDR gaming picture. That's how it is, not on a Sony, not on a Samsung, just on an LG TV, on the LG CX, C1, C2 and G1 and G2 as well. HGHG is doing one thing much better than A95K or S95B with their modis. It will just show you the perfect HDR picture with the capabilities or within the capabilities from the TV. So on the Sony and on the Samsung, you will have always tone mapping. And this is something what I don't need at all, or I can't have this at all when I'm doing testing in terms of HDR settings. And then of course I needed a game bar where I can show FPS, where I can show or where I can see very quickly what modes are actually using. If I have HDR activated, VRR activated and stuff like that. Unfortunately, the Sony A95K does not offer anything in terms like that. And this is a very big no-go for me as a gamer. And yes, I know the Samsung S95B offers a game bar exactly as my Q95B and I like the game bar, but at the end, it's still a Samsung. Because there's another very important feature. Actually, it's not a feature. It's a, a must have actually, it's not a feature. I'm talking about picture accuracy. And I know what I said about picture accuracy and gaming and I still think that's correct. You don't need to have the most accurate picture in for gaming, full stop. That's what I think. But the thing is, for what I'm doing on my channel, I need the best outcome. I need the most accurate picture to actually tell you exactly what's going on. I hope you understand this point. And the Samsung is not the, it's not my first choice for this. And then there is input lag. Input lag on the A95K is almost twice as high than on the LG G2. S95B on the other hand is more or less on the exact same level as the LG TVs, but still, it's a Samsung TV. Which brings us to firmware updates. And so far I was just once disappointed with LG's firmware when we lost 100 candela in the gaming HDR mode a couple of months ago. But thanks God it was actually fixed 
just a couple of days later, I think. Anyway, in terms of firmware updates on our Sony TV, I have literally no idea or no experience. But in terms of Samsung TVs, I read and I experienced in my yeah, my life so far, actually a lot of disappointments, especially when it comes to feature updates or bug fixes, which never happened actually. And with the latest S95P firmware, they actually made it a little bit worse, um, the TV, because many, many people bought this TV because of the brightness. And we need to keep in mind the brightness on the TV was not very accurate, but this is what people liked. And with one of the latest firmware updates, Samsung actually made it more accurate which some people really doesn't like and i agree with them because they bought a product and they liked the product when they bought it and now samsung is changing something that's not not the best thing to do in my opinion that's why i'm going with lg because i know first of all firmware are always with we need to be careful of course they're doing something wrong or it can there can go something wrong we need to keep this in mind, but in general, LG firmware, LG software is high end in my opinion. There's nothing to worry about. And that is also a very big yeah, point actually why I went with LG. But that doesn't mean the A95K or Samsung S95P are not great TVs, quite the opposite. Those TVs are the best TVs what you can buy for your user case. If you, let's say a movie fan, the A95K is the way or the TV to go, not the S95P. The S95P is the TV what you should buy if you are a gamer. For me, for my user case, both worlds actually, I like to watch movies, but mainly of course I'm playing games. I need all the gaming features. I need an accurate picture. The LG G2 is the right choice for me. Maybe not for you, but for me. I hope you understand this and I hope you had some fun with this video. Make sure to subscribe and you like this video because I will do more videos about LG G2 and LG CX and maybe I do a little bit of comparison with my QN95P which is now in my other office and it's a great TV by the way the QN95P I do, I do not regret to buy this because especially HDR looks fantastic anyway make sure you stay on this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel more content about the LG G2 is coming soon and also please do me a favor put in a comment section what you like to see in terms of comparisons and I try my very best to make it happen. Thank you very much. I see you guys next time. Bye.